Hey Seahawks, it's Carly. And I'm Diane, and these are your Seahawk updates. Congratulations to our student of the month, Kevin Wong. Not only does Kevin do very well academically, he is also involved in many different programs. One of Kevin's many skills is swimming, and he's on the varsity swim team and has been training in swim over the course of the last 10 years. After high school, Kevin hopes to be an aerospace engineer and help others. Kevin does so well balancing all of his extracurriculars and deserves to be recognized. Congrats, Kevin. Congratulations to our other student of the month, Bella Cayezo. Bella has done so many great things so far and is currently a part of Senate Girls Supporting Girls Club Basketball and Cheer. Basketball is very important to Bella and she's always trying to grow and learn so that she can improve. She plans on trying to make the most out of this year and hopefully go into the interior design field after high school. Congratulations to this month's Artist of the Month, Noah de Jesus. Noah is an incredible photographer and editor. When it comes to photography, he enjoys capturing photos that have a historical, fictional, or fantasy theme to them, and he really enjoys editing photos. He likes to use photography to express his emotions, and he believes that the meaning of photography is to preserve exact moments. We can't wait to see what's next for him and his art. Congrats, Noah. Congratulations to this month's Super Hawk of the Month, Mr. Lin. Mr. Lin is one of our math teachers here at Ocean View. He is very intelligent and is always willing to help students who are struggling in a subject or even that just need a laugh. He always arrives to school with a smile and he is a really relaxed and kind teacher to everyone around him. Even during a pandemic, he has kept up a positive attitude in making sure his students get the education that they deserve, even if it's not the typical in-person education. Thank you for all that you do, Mr. Lin. We love you. Hey Seahawks, we would like to give a big thank you to all of our students and teachers who took the time to make our 2021 talent show possible. Congratulations to our first place winner, Molavai Lavu. I think we can all agree his performance was unique and one of a kind. What is up Seahawks, it's Kayla once again, and I just wanted to come on here and share our second and third place winners of the talent show. If your name is called, make sure to go to the front office after school on Tuesday to pick up your prize. In second place, we have Caitlin Conklin, who sang Hey There Delilah from Delilah's Point of View. And in third place, we have Leona Fram, who did a tap dance to Can't Stop the Feeling. Once again, thank you to all of our contestants, judges, and all of you for watching the talent show. And if you heard your name called and you won, make sure to pick up your prize Tuesday in the front office. Bye Seahawks, and thanks for watching the talent show. Hey Seahawks, if you're interested in joining track and field, please see Coach Mosher. He is at the track every day at 2 o'clock or you can email him to let him know. Work on getting yourselves cleared and we'll see you on the track. Make sure you're following our at OceanViewHS Instagram to stay up to date with all the latest information as well as play some fun trivia games on our story. As an IV school, we have ATL lessons every Monday during homeroom. ATL stands for Approaches to Learning. So when you are writing, practicing mindfulness, reading, listening, researching, goal setting, organizing, exercising, and having healthy relationships, you're being an IV student. 
Hey Seahawks, if you're interested in being a class president, the ASB elected application is now live. You can find it on our OVHS homepage or in our Instagram bios link tree. It is going to be due March 12th by 12 p.m. and we will have an informational meeting on March 6th at 12.45. So there's more information on the form, so make sure to go check that out today. Tuesday, March 2nd is Read Across America Day. Take one to three minutes and read a book. The H.B. Reads Book of the Year is They Called Us the Enemy by George Takei. It is a graphic novel about the internment of the Japanese Americans during World War II. Every campus on HBU HSD will be having book club meetings and also district-wide events around this book. Our library has free digital copies of They Called Us the Enemy waiting for you to check out. Join the rest of Huntington Beach and start reading it on March 2nd. There is also going to be a Flipgrid contest throughout the month of March where you can upload a recording of yourself reading this book in English, Spanish, or any language of your choice. Hey, hey Fresh Friends! And we're part of this Academy. I'm Mikey. I'm Kimberly. And here's why you should join the Visit Academy. The one thing is that you get to build a great atmosphere and you learn how your presentation skills. And to add on to what Mikey said, not only do you feel pumped up every single day that you're in class, but you also get to learn communication skills, which can be used in class or when you move on to college. We hope to see you freshmen be part of the Business Academy. And you won't regret it. Hey Seahawks, we just wanted to come on here and congratulate every athlete that has put in their hard work during these times. We also wanted to congratulate every sport that has started off, such as cross country, tennis, and other sports that are about to begin. We know these are tough times, but we can all get through this. Thank you to all of our coaches that have put in their time and hard work. Hey Seahawks, it's March, and that means it's Women's History Month. Make sure to check out the Clash of Classes Canvas course page to find a slideshow on Women's History Month. Each VA we will be posting something about Women's History Month, so make sure to stay updated on that. That's all for now. Bye Seahawks! Hey Seahawks, what's up? My name is Bella and I'm so excited to let you know that California Scholarship Federation applications are now live. Go to tinyurl.com slash OBCSFAPP, fill it out, put all your information in, make sure you meet grade requirements, and share a copy with me. Once you do, you will be admitted into the club, which looks great on applications, but you'll also get insight to the application process, as well as recognition for all your hard work, service opportunities, and a really awesome stool to wear proudly at graduation. Do it. It'll be due Wednesday, and I'm so excited to welcome you to CSF. Thank you. Hey Seahawks, if you're interested in staying connected with your class, OB Senate is the perfect way to do so. We have meetings every Friday and to join the Remind, text OB Senate 21, 22, 23, or 24 to 81010. See you there! Hey guys! Hey! What are you guys up to today? Nothing much, just doing homework. Cool. Have any of you guys done the Inclusion Week activity today? No, I completely forgot. Wait, what's the activity today? So today is the inclusion bingo on the Instagram page, the We Are OVHS, ASB Instagram, and Unified. I really wish it was like more we can do this week. Actually, there is more that we could do this week, like the Giving Tree on Tuesday, the Unified Flashback, and even the t-shirts that you can join a raffle to win one. Wait, how can we enter the raffle? It's as easy as just tagging the Instagram or even emailing Melton if you have any more questions. Thanks for reminding us. Of course. This week is all about connecting with each other and feeling included. You can call me anytime. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. Of course. Bye. Bye. Hey Seahawks, remember that thing that we do at OV called CAS? Well, it stands for Creativity, Activity, and Service. And we do it since we are at an IB school. We all do things that are creative or physically active or service-based. Well, our teachers have been doing CAS too. Let's take a look at the CAS Spotlight featuring our very own OV staff, Mr. Shucker. Hi there, this is Mr. Shucker. We've been asked to talk to you about how we use CAS in our real life. So, um, I'm very much a creative person, so I write music, I write other stuff, and lately, because we've been in COVID, uh, can't go out and jam with people and the like, so we've been, my wife and I have been doing a lot of uh, baking. So I gotta tell you that uh, sourdough cinnamon rolls are like really good. Hey Seahawks, it's me, Dr. Rasmussen. 
Only 73 days left in the school year. Can you believe it? But who's counting, right? This week, it's inclusion week. Do you know what inclusion means? Inclusion means access to everybody. I'll take it one step further. Inclusion also means taking care of each other and looking out for one another. If you have a friend who's in trouble or a friend that's in need, make sure you say something. You know, like they say, if you see something, say something. On the Ocean View website, we have a report a tip link. It's an anonymous way to share if you feel like something's not right and your friend needs help. Please make sure you do so. It's really important that we take care of one another. And also, Seahawks, it's important to remember that you can't spell love without OV. Thanks for watching, Seahawks. See you next week. And remember, you can't spell love without OV.